hello everyone welcome to the new video so today we will discuss uh, topics of ansible so let's go let's start with ansible interview preparation so ansible is a configuration management tool configuration management means that when the infrastructure is provisioned when you have configured when you have uh, provisioned the servers then if any module if any service is required to be installed in that uh, on that server uh, or if you have to make any file or if you have to install some anything if you have to delete anything from suppose from with terraform you are provisioning 100 servers so if you are going on each server and configuring that service that will be more hectic for that purpose ansible come into picture where writing ansible playbook and just running that ansible playbook it will itself install that service on those hundred servers so ansible is a configuration management tool so ansible and terraform the difference between two is this that terraform is used for infrastructure provisioning while ansible is used for configuration then uh, there are many other tools in market too like ansible chef puppet so what is the difference between ansible and uh, the other tools so ansible is based on push based while chef and puppet is based on pull based so in chef and puppet agent is required in all the servers from there they pull the details and then they are able to do the configuration while in ansible no, no such agent is required it's just that it will push all those changes in all the servers so that is a difference between ansible and the other tools so ansible is push based while chef and puppet is pull based then ansible is a open source configuration management okay so open source configuration management then the most important thing is the components of ansible playbook so this is mostly asked in interviews that can you please tell the co components of ansible so first is the inventory host inventory so in ans so whenever we are see how ansible will come to know that these this service has to be installed in all these servers so for that we have the inventory maintained so we have to maintain the inventory where we have to mention the ip address and the host name so inventory can be of two types it can be static or dynamic static means where we have to mention the host uh, and the ip address of those like if they are prod so we have to mention prod and then we have to mention the ip address something like this uh, so in this way we have to mention the inventory and from this inventory only whatever the ip address and the host names are contained in this inventory ansible will do the configuration on those while dynamic is dynamic in dynamic is as a name suggests that it has a code it has a python code or bash script which will fetch the output and then it will uh, output like ip address or something and then it will accordingly according to the output it will uh, do the configuration so i have also made one video 
where how we can integrate both, both Terraform and Ansible together. There I have discussed that how when we get the, uh, after the provisioning in Terraform, we get the output of the IP address in Terraform. How we make that IP address in this inventory, how we keep it and then we use it. Okay. So this is the most important thing that uh, host inventory. Then the second important thing is playbook where we have to create a playbook where we have to mention the commands that we want to execute. Then we have the modules. Uh, there are two types of module, custom modules and core modules. So they are uh, whatever module like if we have to install something, we'll use yum. If there th that is a window server, we have to use something else. Uh, so like for win or copy or something there is there are core module and custom module is which we make the module and then we use those modules like if we have to fetch the date and then you know make a file according to that date so we will create a module that uh, create file name according to date and then we can use that module name in our playbooks so that is the difference between custom and core and then we have the uh, plugins connection plugins so to con this is also majorly asked that how ansible connect to linux server and windows server so uh, it has plugins ssh plugin for linux server and uh, winrm plugin uh, for uh, windows server okay and also one thing that Ansible cannot be installed in Windows Server. Uh, Ansible cannot be installed in Windows Server. Why? It can do the configuration in Windows Server, but it cannot be installed in Windows Server. So this is also sometimes as an interview, like can you install Ansible in Windows Server? So your answer should be no. But can you do configuration uh, in Windows Server using Ansible? Your answer should be yes, we can do it. So uh, this is how it is done. And uh, then what is the command to run the Ansible playbook? It is Ansible uh, play hyphen playbook, the Ansible hyphen F if playbook is somewhere else and this point has to be noted that wherever there is a host inventory there only our playbook should be present the path should not be different because from there only it will fetch the uh, you know uh, the uh, the uh, uh, server's details and they, they it it is the yaml file basically the ansible playbook is written in a yaml file so our ansible oh, demo dot em hyphen v so v is for verbose like the output should come whatever is the uh, output after running this command that should come uh, the command to check the ansible you know uh, syntax that whether our ansible uh, file or playbook file uh, it does not have any syntax error or something so for that it is uh, oh, sorry ansible demo dot yml hyphen hyphen syntax check this is a command then uh, we have uh, you know we have loop feature also while writing the ansible playbook we have handlers we have variables we have uh, ad hoc commands also in uh, ansible so ad hoc ansible ad hoc commands are like one liner commands ansible ad hoc commands are like one liner commands where we have to write like this ansible so in which server we have to run if we have to run on all servers or if we have to run on specific servers we have to mention the host file over here then here we have to mention the shell 
uh, like shell command then we have to mention like which command we have to run so this is just one liner ad hoc command like date we have to run on all the servers which are mentioned in the host inventory there are yum module also uh, there are copy uh, there are setup so this all we can use as an ad hoc command as ad hoc commands regarding how to write ansible playbook uh, what are loop features or how to define variables that we'll discuss in tomorrow's video then one thing more that i want to uh, tell you like what are ansible roles this is also very commonly asked in uh, interview that what are ansible roles so uh, and one thing more um, are our inventory file is stored in uh, the path slash etc slash ansible slash host okay this we need to understand and then what is ansible roles ansible role is like when we are segregating the we are writing ansible playbook but it has become very complex due to large number of commands and everything so we are segregating everything and we are making a rep repository kind of structure in a repository we have different different um, what you say headers like handlers so handlers is something when we write ansible playbook so handler is something that has to be executed once something else is executed it's like a like this that is the, that command is dependent on something uh, other command which once executed then should only be executed so handler is something that we use in our playbook many example are there that we have to restart the service only once the service is installed we cannot restart the service unless and until the service is not installed so first that can come in handler that after installing the service trigger handler and then restart this so that comes in hand handlers then uh, we have you know uh, vars where we store the variables we have files the files that we have to copy or something like this we have uh, tasks whatever tasks we have to execute so everything we segregate and there's a directory kind of structure we have default we have meta that contains the details so we have templates so like this kind of directory structure is followed where we segregate everything for our own convenience we have ansible walls too where we can encrypt our data and we can you know use it so for that um, uh, whatever we are using inside our yaml file uh, so uh, that can be encrypted and that can be kept in a vault so the command is ansible vault encrypt whatever we have to we have to give the command so whatever we have to encrypt inside the yaml file we have to give uh, you know use the vault for it so this can be also as like how to safeguard secrets and all uh, in playbook so you can you say that you can use ansible vault so that's all for today's video how to write playbook file and everything that we will discuss in tomorrow's video hope you liked it please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye